Neil Adams to see what his thoughts on it were. And Neil has been in the tree removal business for 35 years, and he's sitting right here next to me if you have any questions for him afterwards. Um, <clears throat> anyway, he told me the tree could easily live for 40 more years. As for the pine needles on the ground, he said every pine loses needles continuously, and that it is a science growing. As for the root system being damaged because of the drainage problem, he didn't feel that the tree would be affected at all because the roots go only, only go as far as the branches and there are several roots that could be used to avoid the tree. And I'm glad to say that the, the route has been changed to avoid any damage. Concerning the mold issue, he said there is adequate airflow between the tree and the town hall and shouldn't present a problem. And that the tree could always be trimmed as it has in the past away from the building as it grows to avoid any problems. As for the committee's plan to plant a deciduous tree, such as an oak or maple, he felt that would be a mistake, as deciduous trees are notorious for destroying foundations and sidewalks because their root systems are much more extensive than pine roots. He also said he would be happy to put the lights on the tree at Christmas time, as his bucket truck could reach higher than the tree. And from what I've heard from the committee, the renovation can proceed with the tree still up. So why not enjoy it until there are signs of it being unhealthy or being a risk to people? Why cut down a perfectly healthy tree that so many people have an emotional attachment to and love when the reasons that, I, that have been given are not valid and have so many other solutions? The spirit of Christmas and West Liberty won't be the same if the tree comes down. Thank you for listening.